For years I have truly tried to live in accordance with your teachings. Obviously, I have not done well. How can I do better now? You think and talk too much. You must stop talking to yourself. What do you mean? You talk to yourself too much. People carry on an internal talk. Think about it. Whenever you are alone, what do you do? I talk to myself? What do you talk to yourself about? I don't know. Anything, I suppose? I'll tell you what we talk to ourselves about. We talk about our world. In fact, we maintain our world with our internal talk. How do we do that? Whenever we finish talking to ourselves, the world is always as it should be. But we also choose our paths as we talk to ourselves. Thus, we repeat the same choices over and over until the day we die, because we keep on repeating the same internal talk over and over until the day we die. A warrior is aware of this and strives to stop his talking. How can I stop talking to myself? First of all, you must use your ears to take some of the burden from your eyes. We have been using our eyes to judge the world since the time we were born. We talk to others and to ourselves mainly about what we see. A warrior is aware of that and listens to the world. He listens to the sounds of the world. I put my notes away. Don Juan laughed and said that he did not mean I should force the issue. That listening to the sounds of the world had to be done harmoniously and with great patience. A warrior is aware that the world will change as soon as he stops talking to himself. And he must be prepared for that monumental jolt. What do you mean, Don Juan? The world is such and such, or so and so, only because we tell ourselves that that is the way it is. If we stop telling ourselves that the world is so and so, the world will stop being so and so. At this moment, I don't think you're ready for such a momentous blow. Therefore, you must start slowly to undo the world. I really don't understand you. Your problem is that you confuse the world with what people do. Again, you're not unique at that. Every one of us does that. The things people do are the shields against the forces that surround us. What we do as people gives us comfort and makes us feel safe. What people do is rightfully very important, but only as a shield. We never learn that the things we do as people are only shields, and we let them dominate and topple our lives. In fact, I could say that for mankind, what people do is greater and more important than the world itself. What do you call the world? The world is all that is encased here, he said, and stamped the ground. Life, death, people, the allies, and everything else that surrounds us. The world is incomprehensible. We don't ever understand it. We won't ever unravel its secrets. Thus, we must treat it as it is, a sheer mystery. An average man does not do this, though. The world is never a mystery for him. And when he arrives at old age, he is convinced he has nothing to live for. An old man has not exhausted the world. He has exhausted only what people do. But in his stupid confusion, he believes that the world has no more mysteries for him. What a wretched price to pay for our shields. A warrior is aware of this confusion and learns to treat things properly. The things that people do cannot under any condition be more important than the world. And thus, a warrior treats the world as an endless mystery and what people do as an endless folly.